What's up, you guys? It's your girl, LT, back with another video. Um, so this video is going to be my continuation of my Parents Who Regret Having Kids series. This um, video is going to be talking about fathers. This is the father edition, and this is going to be discussing dads who posted online about how they pretty much regret fatherhood and their issues and situations that they're going through either with their spouse or with their child. So a uh, quick disclaimer, this is not a video to bash parents. This is not a channel to bash parents. This is just me reading off stuff that I've been seeing online. Either I go reddit.com facebook buzzfeed and these parents are posting stuff themselves online about what they are experiencing when it comes to parenthood so i have three stories i'm going to be sharing with you guys today and i want to get your feedback so let me know down in the comment section down below um and i also want to let you guys know thank you guys so so much for getting me to over 400 subscribers um i started my channel about six months ago but i want to make, make sure that i am continuing to upload videos for you guys so i want to continue the growth of this channel and i want to say thank you guys so much i hope you guys had a great great new year and Christmas over the holidays and I know 2023 is going to be a great year for all of us all of us child free folks we're going to have a great year so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get on with the stories so the first story is uh, posted by a dad he goes I regret being a dad so he goes like and this is the rest of the story I have a six month old and I truly love his smile and my life has been trashed on every aspect I care about first and foremost financially my wife and I made good money and I had pretty good income, but at this point between daycare, insurance, food, and other random stuff, we are bleeding out money. My wife does not listen to me anymore. And since we are going to be our, the baby's gonna only be our only one, she wants to spend money on him all the time, clothes, pictures, etc. My health. I was lucky to have my mom help out with us for the first few months. I got great sleep, seven hours straight. I haven't gotten that kind of sleep since she stopped helping out. I am exhausted every single day, every single day. I used to work out every day. I can probably count the number of times I've gone to the gym since he was born on one hand. Also because everybody is too tired to cook, we are eating out more, which is unhealthy and expensive, and we are now packing on the weight. Relationships. Our relationship has turned into a constant fight between who is tired and who has to deal with him. I have a hard time pull, putting him down, so my wife resents she has to do that all the time. We've never treated each other this way. We've been together for 10 years and it's never been like this. Sex. I enjoy sex, and I, but I'm not obsessed with it. Once a week was fine for me. I can count the number of times on one hand we had sex in the past year on one hand. My work. I'm a software engineer. I love putting time in projects at home. I am too damn tired to do anything right now. People keep telling me that it gets better, but it never does. First is two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, three, four, six months, and here I am and it still sucks. My pediatrician says that month nine is a target. Every part of my body hurts. Every part of my body does hurt. I have a massive headache. I hate telling my wife anything because like I said, it's going to be a fight about who's doing more or less and who's doing more and who's tired constantly. I reached my breaking point. I know you can't do anything, but I had to tell someone. Sorry for posting nothing but negativity. I love him, but I wish I had my old life back. So obviously having a child is going to be affecting your pretty much every aspect of your life and i think a lot of people don't realize they see this cute little baby they don't realize that oh i have to raise this thing for 18 years they don't realize that every aspect of your life is going to change when it comes to a child some positively some negatively and sometimes people just don't want to go through that or they think like oh yeah it's never going to happen to me i think a lot of us and we live in a certain generation that we have the it's never going to happen to me kind of mindset but then you have this child and it's like dang now i gotta put everything to the side i gotta make sure this child is fed make sure it's closed make sure it's you know being taken care of and sometimes people are neglectful of their um of themselves as well to where they don't end up taking care of themselves the guy even posted here his relationships his financial his health you know he's not having sex as often his work everything is being affected right now by this child so that's kind of a sad situation. I mean, especially if you're, you don't have the right spouse to help you out like that. I mean, I don't I mean, people want to voice their opinions and stuff all the time. This is why it's so important to know who you are and know who you are married to, because now you guys have this baby that you have to take care of. And especially if the spouse is not there to really give you that support, it can really impact you financially and it can really impact your relationship. So the next story here is from a woman. She actually posted about her husband uh, regretting to be a father. So here is the story. My husband has admitted that while he loves our three-year-old, he really hates being a father and that he is basically going through the motions taking care of her. If he really understood what he's getting into parenthood, he would have never had a child. He feels like people t lie to him about the reality of it and it's not worth it. 
He resents doing a lot of things. He never wants to do any family activities and basically just wants to put her in front of the TV all weekend so he can be on the on gaming, on the computer, or watch football and try to pretend like he has his old life back. He doesn't want to ever take her to the park or to get ice cream or anything. He just wants to try and claim back an old life that was gone. I wish he would see our daughter that brings him more happiness than video games, but he insists he regrets it and he wishes he knew how monstrous and difficult and expensive it is boring life and kids is that he didn't want to have it. We're in our 30s. I think maybe part of the problem is that we've had um, eight years of being dinks, which uh, D-I-N-K, which if you don't know, is um, dinks is uh, dual income, no children. Uh, we are used to be a dinks couple and he got used to the freedom and now he's losing it and it's pretty tough. I do believe he does love our daughter. I just think that he hates what life has become now and, we, and now we have made this huge change. He misses the disposable income we've had. Children is definitely a huge cost. Child care is very high and expensive. Traveling or going somewhere on a whim without children takes, uh, without traveling and without a child definitely has taken a toll. Sleeping in on the weekends, uh, lots of things that we cannot do anymore. Yeah, I mean, like I said, everything changes when you have a kid. I mean, people don't realize that you lose sleep, your finances change, like everything changes as soon as you have a kid. So people are now starting to realize that maybe this is all is cracked up to be. I don't know what to do at this point. He wants to try and live like he doesn't have a child, but we do. He doesn't want to put her into anything because then that would take up all of his weekends. He doesn't want to take her family on a holiday. He just wants to drop drop the baby off to, for the parents to watch, for our grandparents to watch her and for a couple of weeks and go on a holiday without her. And I don't think that's fair to her. Like, I understand this is frustrating, but I think he needs to understand that he's a dad now and go over it. I don't care how to, I don't know how to handle it. Well, uh, I think this is definitely, especially when the kid is so young. I mean, this is something they're just gonna have to get through. I mean, I mean, I don't know if they have any other, like, you know, relatives or even like friends who are parents that can kind of give their two cents on see about getting help or something that they need, but, like I said, having a child impacts you so much. And it's just, people don't realize until it really happens to them. I mean, people are gonna always tell you the positives and all that kind of stuff when it comes to children, but they're never gonna tell you the, the negative side to it too. And I think we all need to like, really just come together, really tell some of these parents that like, listen, parenthood ain't so cracked up to be. If you really see what's going on in this world today, if you see how having a child impacts you financially, impacts you socially, impacts your sex life, impacts your relationship, I think a lot of people would probably not decide to have a child. And unfortunately, you are not gonna realize anything until it's too late, so. All right, this is the third and final uh, story. So this guy asks, am I the only one here who regrets having a kid? My life was perfect before we got pregnant. My fiance and I got along perfectly. We had friends, we had plans for our life together. And now, number one, life revolves around keeping this toddler alive. Number two, my kid throws hissy fits and tantrums like normal and my wife gets to shut down for the evening after I get home from work because she's too tired, stressed and frustrated. But if I raise my voice or get stern with our child, even once she sticks out, she sticks it out of my temper. So the mom, basically, um, you know, makes the, the father to blame for this because every time he comes home or every time she doesn't do anything, she gets an attitude. So uh, number three, we no longer see people socially. We talk about getting together with others, but we never do. Number four, I no longer have anything left of me that isn't part of work or taking care of our kid at home. Mostly, I just need to vent somewhere. If this is the wrong place for them, then please point me in the right direction. But with the positive tone that usually comes with discussing the best job we ever had, I wonder, I have to wonder if anything else regrets it. Yeah, a lot of fathers, a lot of parents do regret having kids. I think they see what's going on in our world today. And it's like, if they honestly, I see a lot of parents, if they could turn back time, they probably would, they probably would um, not have any children. And a lot of people are saying stuff about nowadays that they want to leave some kind of a legacy. That's, that's one thing that kills me. It's like, why would you want to leave, as crappy as this world is right now, why would you want to leave any kind of a legacy? A lot of people are not understanding leaving a legacy is impactful. Like at least like it's not, sometimes it's not impactful depending on your situation, but if you don't have the best finances, if you don't have really anything going for you, it's not going to be the, your best, in your best spirit. It's not going to be in your, in your best choice to really have any kind of impactful thing to do. Like you can still leave a legacy without having children. I'm a believer in that. You know, there's plenty of people out here who don't have kids. They're still impacting the world in some kind of way. And I think a lot of these parents are realizing, I have a lot of stories I'm gonna read y'all this year <laughs> about parents who regret having kids. Um, this is just a little, little you know, dad's edition right now, but I think a lot of people are really coming out for it saying, hey, parenthood ain't as cracked up to be. And these people need to come together and saying, hey, this is what, what's going on right now. I see a lot of people who are just 
really going through it with their child and it's really it's not going to get any better i can guarantee you that now especially if they're if you're going through this crap right now and when they're young imagine when they get to be preteens, when they get to be teenagers when they get to be grown adults oh my god <laughs> I, I can't oh i can't even imagine my oh my mental health would freaking be out the window i cannot i couldn't do it <laughs> i can do it that's why I was telling better them than me because I can do it. Okay. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Once again, thank you guys so much for getting me to over 400 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that this channel can continue to grow and uh, impact you in some kind of way, shape or form when it comes to being child free. I have some great content, great videos coming for you guys uh, later on this year. I have some more parents who regret having children series. I have some child free interviews I'm going to be doing as well, talking to other child free uh, black men and women and couples as well also going to be going over some child free book reviews as well and i'm also going to be doing some child free traveling so i love you guys so much i want to let you guys know that and once again thank you guys so much for all the beautiful subscribers on here and uh see you guys see you guys next time thank you so much if you want to follow me on social media please do so follow me on instagram child free black woman or if you want to email me child free black woman at yahoo.com once again thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe to my channel see you guys in the next video thank you